Hello students, welcome back to Infinite Physics YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to derive kinematic equations. First of all, what are kinematic equations? Kinematic equations are mathematical formulas that describe the motion of the body in terms of its position, velocity and acceleration. And these are the kinematic equations. Total we have three kinematic equations. First one is V is equal to V0 plus AT. V refers to final velocity, V0 means initial velocity, A is acceleration and T means time. And the second kinematic equation, S is equal to V0 T plus half AT square. Here S refers to displacement. And the third kinematic equation, V square is equal to V0 square plus 2AS. Okay, these are the kinematic equations we are going to derive today. Let's see one by one. First kinematic equation that is V is equal to V0 plus AT. To derive this, we need velocity time graph. What is velocity time graph? We know already, right? Velocity time graph in the sense we take velocity in the y axis and the time in the x axis. That kind of a graph is known as velocity time graph, which is also known as VT graph. So, okay, now I am considering a particle consider a particle in motion with the initial velocity that means what it has some initial velocity it is not zero that is why the graph is starting from this point and then it moves with a constant acceleration a and it its final velocity is v in a time t that is our consideration part then we need to find the slope you know already velocity time graph right velocity time graph the slope of velocity time graph gives what come on yes acceleration the slope of velocity time graph gives acceleration that is why i need to find a slope of this line the last slope of this line ab is nothing but what we have a right angle triangle in a right angle triangle we need to find a tan theta value tan theta we know already tan theta is nothing but opposite side by adjacent side correct in this triangle opposite side is bc that is why opposite side bc divided by what is the adjacent side adjacent side is ac okay bc by ac now i need to find what is this bc this bc i want to find but we know bd correct bd we know that is v and we know cd cd is nothing but oa oa is nothing but v naught so that is why bc is equal to bd minus cd correct that is why bc is nothing but bd minus cd then i will get bc bc is nothing but bd minus c divided by ac as it is so now look at the graph bd what is bd bd is nothing but v that is v minus what is cd cd is nothing but oa oa is nothing but what v naught so v minus v naught divided by what is ac from the graph AC is nothing but OD, correct? OD is equal to what? T. V minus V0 by T. So we know the slope of velocity time graph gives what? Acceleration. So now I am cross multiplying. So AT is equal to V minus V0 or else V minus V0 is equal to AT or V is equal to V0 plus AT. So this is our first kinematic equation where V refers to final velocity, V0 means initial velocity, A means acceleration and T means time. Second kinematic equation that is nothing but S is equal to V0 T plus half AT square. Now we are going to find displacement from velocity time graph. How to, how to find the displacement from velocity time graph? So, area under velocity time graph gives what? Displacement. We written here, displacement is nothing but area under velocity time graph. Now, we need to find the area of this shape. What is this shape called? This is nothing but trapezium. The trapezium, area of trapezium formula is simply half into sum of parallel side into perpendicular side. Look at the graph now. These two are the parallel sides of a trapezium. Okay. We need to take sum of these two lines and the perpendicular line or a perpendicular side is nothing but the perpendicular distance between these two lines that is AC. Now I am writing here. So I need to find displacement is equal to half as it is 
sum of parallel sides these two are the parallel sides oa plus bd oa plus bd into what into what perpendicular side what is the perpendicular distance between these two lines that is ac that is multiplied with ac so now we need to find the values half oa is nothing but what from the graph oa is nothing but v not v not plus bd what is bd from the graph bd is nothing but v into ac the perpendicular distance that is equal to od od is equal to t so now we need to put one formula here v not v not v is equal to v not plus at that is our first kinematic equation i'm substituting this v is equal to v not plus at here so what happens s is equal to half v in the place of v not v i am substituting the formula v not plus at into t now i need to multiply everything so s is equal to half v not and i am multiplying with t plus half into v not into t plus half into at correct half into at square t t into t t square so half at square that is the thing now look at the graph so now look at this equation s is equal to half v not t plus half v not t what is the value of half v not t i am writing here s is equal to half v not t plus half v not t half plus half becomes 1 that is why half v not t plus half v not t is nothing but v not t plus we left with at square half at square so this is a kinematic equation that is a second kinematic equation that is nothing but s is equal to v not t plus half at square now the third kinematic equation that is v square is equal to v not square plus 2 as to derive this uh, derivation again we need to follow same graph and the same steps up to this point okay as like your second derivation so now i need to find the value of t we know acceleration correct what is acceleration acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity we know the formula correct acceleration a is nothing but what a is equal to v minus v not divided by t okay acceleration is nothing but change in velocity divided by time change in velocity is represented by final velocity minus initial velocity i am rewriting this formula in terms of time t is equal to v minus v not divided by a now i am substituting this formula for t in this equation what happens s is equal to half v not plus v can i write this v not plus v like v plus v not can i write a plus b as b plus a yes i can write that is why i am rewriting this as v not plus v is nothing but v plus v not into what t in the place of t i am substituting this equation t is nothing but v minus v not divided by a now look at the equation we have 1 by 2 and denominator we have a i am multiplying this a to in the left hand side so lhs becomes what 2 a yes is equal to what we left with v plus v not into v minus v not look at the equation very carefully this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b we know one formula a plus b into a minus b equal to what a square minus b square so 2 a s is equal to a plus b into a minus b that is nothing but a square minus b square that is why v square minus v not square finally what happens if i rewrite in this equation in terms of v square v square is equal to v not square plus 2 a s this is our final kinematic equation where v refers to final velocity v not is a initial velocity and s is a displacement this is all about kinematic equations thank you for watching